Hi, I'm Miss Katie, and today I'm going to tell you the story of the shepherds and the light of the whole world. The light of the whole world, the story of the shepherds from Luke chapter 2. That same night, and amongst the other stars, suddenly a bright new star appeared. Of all the stars in the dark vaulted heavens, this one shone clearer. It blazed in the night and made the other stars look pale beside it. God put it there when his baby son was born to be like a spotlight, shining on him, lighting up the darkness, showing people the way to him. You see, God was like a new daddy. He couldn't keep the good news to himself. He'd been waiting all these long years for this moment, and now he wanted to tell everyone so he pulled out all the stops. He'd sent an angel to tell Mary the good news. He'd put a special star in the sky to show where his boy was. And now he was going to send a big choir of angels to sing his happy song to the world. He's here, he's come, go and see him, my little boy. Now where would you send your splendid choir? To a big concert hall maybe, or palace perhaps? God sent his to a little hillside outside a little town in the middle of the night. He sent all those angels to sing for a raggedy old bunch of shepherds watching their sheep outside Bethlehem. In those days, remember, people used to laugh at shepherds and say they were smelly and call them other rude names, which I can't possibly mention here. You see, people thought shepherds were nobodies, just scruffy old riffraff. But God must have thought shepherds were very important indeed because they're the ones he chose to tell the good news to first. That night, some shepherds were out in the open fields, warming themselves by a campfire, when suddenly the sheep darted. They were frightened by something. The olive trees rustled. What was that? A wingbeat? They turned around. Standing in front of them was a huge warrior of light blazing in the darkness. Don't be afraid of me, the bright shining man said. I haven't come to hurt you. I've come to bring you happy news for everyone everywhere. Today, in David's town, in Bethlehem, God's son has been born. You can go and see him. He is sleeping in a manger. Behind the angel, they saw a strange glowing cloud, except it wasn't a cloud. It was angels, troops and troops of angels armed with light. And they were singing a beautiful song. Glory to God, to God be fame and honor and all our hoorays. Then as quickly as they appeared, the angels left. The shepherds stamped out their fire, left their sheep, raced down the grassy hill, through the gates of Bethlehem, down the narrow cobble streets, through a courtyard, down some steps, 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 past an inn, round a corner, through a hedge, until at last they reached a tumble-down stable. They caught their breath. Then quietly, they tiptoed inside. They knelt on the dirt floor. They had heard about this promised child, and now he was here. Heaven's son, the maker of the stars, a baby sleeping in his mother's arms. This baby would be like that bright star shining in the sky that night, a light to light up the whole world, chasing away darkness, helping people to see. And the darker the night got, the brighter the star would shine. So what would you do if you saw the great shining star and heard the angels and the troops and troops of angels armed with light? How would you feel? Would you be thrilled and excited? Maybe just a little bit nervous? But we know that that was God tonight coming with, it, with all of the light that banishes the darkness. So let's pray. Dear God, help us banish the darkness. Let us follow your light and let you lead us from the darkness to the light, no matter how scared we are, no matter how dark it is outside, and no matter what happens in our lives, let us remember that you are the light in the darkness. Thank you for being our light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning. Let's sing If I Were a Butterfly. 
I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And the refrain, the part that comes after each verse, we sing, for you gave me a heart, and you gave me a smile, you gave me Jesus, and you made me your child, but I just thank you, Father, for making me me. If I were a butterfly, I thank you, Lord, for giving me wings. And if I were a robin in the tree, I thank you, Lord, that I could sing. And if I were a fish in the sea, I'd wiggle my tail and I'd giggle with glee. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Next is an elephant. If I were an elephant, I thank you, Lord, by raising my trunk. And if I were a kangaroo, you know I'd hop right up to you. And if I were an octopus, I thank you, Lord, for my fine looks. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Next is a wiggly worm for our third verse. If I were a wiggly worm, I thank you, Lord, that I could squirm. And if I were a crocodile, I thank you, Lord, for my big smile. And if I were a fuzzy wuzzy bear, I thank you, Lord, for my fuzzy wuzzy hair. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. For you gave me a heart and you gave me a smile. You gave me Jesus and you made me your child. But I just thank you, Father, for making me me. Great singing, everyone. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.